What's good, everybody? It's your boy, OG Guac420, back at it with a very special edition of Collective Disconnect. And on today's episode, we're actually gonna be filming my first ever toy hunt. It's gonna be a store called Holocron. That's local right here, DFW Fort Worth. Uh, DFW Fort Worth, Dallas Fort Worth area. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be taking a quick look. I called ahead of time just to make sure I can film. And uh, I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Um, I am all cut up on my Star Wars Black Series figures. So um, if they do have any like cool retro or vintage um, Star Wars stuff, I might pick it up. Um, this is probably gonna be a one-off because I'm not really uh, big into the doing the actual toy hunting uh, videos. I kind of have a lot of anxiety, uh, you know, talking in public places, especially recording. So yeah, hopefully this video is pretty cool. And uh, without further ado, Let's get it cracking. All right, so here's the outside of the store. It's called Holocron. As you can tell, it specializes in Star Wars memorabilia. I believe Holocron is like a, a storage device, right? A USB for data in the Star Wars universe. So this is a really cool looking uh, Death Star object out here. Let's go inside and see what's all about. All right, so this is what you see when you walk right in. A giant eight foot Darth Vader holding a Chewbacca. Pretty cool. We got some pops over here. Not really my my speed, but pretty cool. Like I said, I might be picking up some, some vintage stuff. They have a lot of cereal boxes. I used to have one of those when I was a kid. Pretty cool. So just a lot of the actual like clothes and other type of merchandise. You guys can see. Some of the books, the comics, these comics. Nice. I haven't really read any of these, so. Pretty cool. Posters over here. What I really want to get into is the uh, Black series and the vintage stuff over there. God. Pretty cool. What the heck? If I had the money. I got some cool vehicles over here. Oh, look at that. 300 bucks. Here we have the modern vintage Kenner stuff. Which I'm not really too big of a fan of either. Cool. Posters, the Black Series lightsabers. This is a Count Dooku's right? 400 bucks. And here's the start of the Black Series. Pretty cool to see what they got. Mace nice Windu. Oh, look at this. Qui Gon Jin. 60 bucks. Tempting, I don't have them yet. I have like the Force Ghost version. We got a little charger action. Oh, this guy looks so cool. Oops. Here's some of the older stuff. Cool Greedo. Might be picking this up. 30 bucks. Got a ton of them. <laughs> and I actually don't even have a Han Solo either, so we shall see. I have that pack right there. It's like my only actual uh, long haired Anakin right there. 90 bucks, not that bad. I think it's how much it retails for. Some more sabers. Whoa. Freaking cool. Get Fistos. The best Skywalker out there, Ray Skywalker. We got Palpatines. All right, so like I said earlier, I'm pretty much caught up in all this uh, Black Series stuff right here. I actually don't have uh, General Syndulla. Might be picking that up. Oh shoot, they have the actual animated version and the live action version. I don't know which one I prefer. And this is that quad line mushroom that I do have, so might be picking up the normal version to go with them. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Got Omega and the Bad Batch. 
I am lacking on the new season right now. I'm only like four episodes in. Pretty bittersweet since it is the final season. Right here we have some like the first releases. Oh, Slave Leia, $94, which is to be expected. God, that's, that'd be so cool just to have this in the collection. We got some cool uh, anniversary editions. I think that's the one like he has like a red background on him. What is this? Infinite Darth Vader, 50 bucks from the comics is pretty cool. What else do we got? Here's some more Force Ghosts. So these are the ones that are in the three pack over there. Just re-released. I don't know why I've always wanted to pick this guy up. I think for 10 bucks, I think I might do it. Grab it. I won't spend too much time on it. Oh, we got some Gamorian guards. Some stuff for here as well. Red cases. And then we have some more uh, older retro style. Not really retro, vintage style, I guess. Star Wars, you can see the yellowing on these. Very cool. Hmm, I've never seen these before. Actually kind of cool. I think I might be just picking up something cool like 12 inch, 18 inch uh, vintage collectible like that. Totally missed this. That. Dubak and Sand Trooper from back in the day when they first started. 85 bucks. Pretty always right there on the bottom. Huh, pretty cool. So solid. Here we have some loose stuff in baggies. The three and three quarter stuff. Hulls. R2 looks pretty cool with the chrome. I still haven't got that latest R2, so I might have to pick that up as well. So some of like this vintage stuff I might <laughs> be picking up just to have in the background of the videos. So here we have some statues from Diamond Select, I believe like PCS statues. And this one right here did catch my eye. That's pretty cool. 175 bucks. A Black Series is making their little hologram figures right now too, so pretty nice. So here we have the the end of the Black Series. With some of the bangers, you know what I mean? Young Han Solo. Lando. Generous Hill, Grail. Totally did not see these. 65. Hopefully they re release this guy. I oh, didn't see this either. Cara Dune. They got three of them. 60. Not bad price at all. They have some of the uh, Galaxy Eggs. Galaxy Eggs. Galaxy Edges exclusive. Figures right here. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Commander Pyre. That looks sick. Hondo. Oh, Morris. And then we have, here we have the uh, holiday stuff. Every single one. That's actually kind of cool. I think this boss is getting a reissue. So I don't know. I don't actually have them. Um, my uh, Bounty Hunter collection with uh, Django. Don't know the price either, but pretty cool over here. We have Darth Revan. I don't have them either. Cool. So I guess there's a few that I'm missing still. So let's go ahead and go to the retro stuff and see what this is all about. 
pretty cool actually. $24.99. How is it open? Oh. That's cool. Stuff like this is what I'm interested in right now. I'm just picking up something random to have in the background. Oh, what the heck is this? R3D3. Ooh, cool, cool. All right, so here we have some Power of the Force. I have a couple of these, but I was never into these back in the day before my time, of course. Uh, pretty cool. I think over here we have some cool looking art. Let me see that real quick. Oh, that's actually pretty freaking sick. old AT-ATs. I don't know what the prices are on those. Cool vintage place at the Ewok Village. Oh, this thing has seen better days. The past, what, four years? Pretty cool. Take them off, getting a little straight G. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Is that from, uh, Robot chicken or my trip? That's what this looks like he is. <laughs> the actual action figures. Pretty cool. Now oh, that's pretty cool. Actual boots. Sweet. Look at that. I actually have like the uh, modern re release of this. Five bucks, not bad. No idea what that is. Oh, this is the actual container where you carry your stuff at, your figs. That's pretty cool. All right, so here we have a bunny Darth Maul with the Grogu attached to the shoulder. What the heck? It's like a Grogu shoulder guard. And here we have the really expensive, gotta get a second mortgage on your house, vintage stuff. I'm glad I'm not into none of this. So I'm gonna show you guys regardless. We have some graded comics. That's pretty cool. I know Marvel made Star Wars comics. One hundred and ten dollars. There's some more right there. Pretty cool. Like I said, not into the. Thank you stuff at all, but obviously a lot of people are. What is that hologram thing I was gonna earlier? Quick version. Four million Falcon. Two fifty. Jeez. Oh that's pretty cool. Remote control R2D2. A whole army of freaking AT ATs. Holy crap. Nice. Oh, that's something you don't see every day. Kermit and Miss Piggy. We have some, oh, some autograph stuff. That's pretty cool. Some more vintage carded stuff. Looking minty fresh. Alrighty, so that was a quick tour of Holocron. Um, I will be picking up some stuff right now, so stay tuned to the end of this to see what I got. Alright, so I came out the store with one single item, so let's go ahead and uh, get back in the car and see what we got. Alright, so I ended up picking up this uh, pretty cool looking Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, you know, not the biggest fan of the, the latest uh, Skywalker trilogy, uh, but this guy's pretty cool. Uh, would love to have him pose up which is grandfather, Darth Vader, looking pretty menacing in all black. And that's a pretty bitchin' saber right there as well. So, yeah, guys, there you have it. Uh, my quick walkthrough of the uh, BFW Holocron. I believe they have a couple other locations as well um, in Texas and, and uh, I think in California as well. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, I am off to work. I was on my lunch break, so. And I, like I said, that might be a one-off on my toy hunting uh, career. Um, I do do a delivery, so I'm out all the time, all over the Metroplex, 
Um, I hit targets and Walmarts every single week. So that's why I don't actually make these videos because uh, there's so many other hunters out there that do make those videos and will make them way better than me. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully there are some more vlog style videos. Uh, I don't know if you guys enjoy those, but uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one. And uh, yeah, stay frosty. <laughs> You have just witnessed another episode of Collect to Disconnect.